Uh, in this lesson, we're going to go ahead back into 3ds Max and start looking at um, this area at the very top of the interface um, and a little bit more specifics here. Um, pretty much file management, different applications, and uh, then of course um, in future lessons we'll go over the toolbars and the viewports and whatnot. But in our main um, uh, file management tab over here, the top left, you'll see the uh, 3ds Max icon. When you click on that, uh, what you're going to see is a series of different file management options open. Now to the right of that, when you're still hovering over the actual icon, you will see any recent documents or recent Max files that you've worked with. And it'll break it down so that way in the future, instead of having to navigate through your hard drive, it'll simply go out and find where it was. However, if you move the, if you save a file out there, and then you move that file, yes, Max will no longer be able to find it. It loses its connection. So keep that in mind if you get an error message. Uh, the first icon that we look at is new, and new does just that. It begins a new project. If you're currently already opened in a project, it will ask you to save the previous project before it opens. Now, reset does the same thing. If you want to reset a scene, it will also ask you if you want to save prior to resetting. The difference is, uh, when you hit new, your um, interface will remain the same. If you uh, make any changes to your viewports, uh, if you put in uh, custom materials, uh, or anything like that, that will remain the same when you go to new. But if you use reset, that wipes out everything like a clean slate. It's sort of like a uh, uh, you know a refresh of your system. It will reset your viewports. It will wipe out your material editor. Uh, it will set back all of your toolbars where they were at the default settings. So know the difference between new and reset, and you should always save prior to doing either. When you hit open, you're going to see that uh, this is just a traditional way of opening up and navigating your hard drive. Uh, on the computer and finding where your files are. Next we have save. And save of course does just that. It saves your .max file. Now, the very first time you hit save on any project, it will open up and ask you where do you want to save this and what do you want to call it. After you do that the very first time, the name of that project will show up here under the word untitled and every time you hit save after that, it will automatically overwrite the previous version of your work. Now, save as allows you to go in and rename that or change the location. So when you save every five minutes, you should be using the save icon. But when you save, every, save a copy every, say, 15, 20 minutes, maybe even every half hour, depending on how much time you're putting in, using Save As is probably uh, your best bet. That way you can ensure you're not saving to a network drive or a USB drive, that you are saving to the hard drive, which uh, I recommend the desktop. Next we have Import. And as I showed you uh, in previous lessons, Import can um, be two different things. You can import a 3DS model, or you can merge a Max file. Again, if you get an error message, you may be trying to, you might be running the wrong procedure with the wrong type of file format. So import a 3DS model, merge a .max Max scene. You can use export to go into your to your scene and export that scene as a 3D model to be imported into another scene. And uh, many of you will probably find models online that are in this format, which you can import into your files. The other ones we won't be working with uh, this semester as far as references, managers, and properties. So you can just click off of that area, and again, that's I call that the file management tab. Now to the far to the right here of that, there are some additional ways to start a new project, open up one, save a file, and then you have an undo and redo uh, button. Now those buttons, of course, um, are very helpful. Uh, a lot of uh, traditional artists don't have that ability, but the undo button will only do about 20 steps. Uh, it only calculates or only keeps a, a history of about 20 steps. So if you do something and then three hours later you decide you want to undo, unfortunately it probably won't be there. Directly below that, 
sort of uh, parallel with that series of lines uh, is your application bar. And this is very uh, should look very familiar with any Microsoft based uh, software that you work with. Uh, each uh, icon or each uh, text representation is sort of a tab that opens up uh, pull down menus. And as you notice when you hit that pull down menu that uh, some of them are grayed out and that means that you're just not able to perform that operation at this time for whatever reason. Uh, and anything in black text means that you you can. Uh, if you look down here at a, um, for instance, I go into tools and I go to a line, anywhere where there's an arrow, you will see an additional set of um, pullouts. Now you're also going to see, uh, for instance, I'll go into maybe rendering here, and you will see uh, where it says environment, and there's eight, well eight is the keyboard shortcut to open up the environment settings for rendering. So if you are one of those people that like to work with um, keyboard shortcuts, uh, this is a good way to learn them. Uh, for this class, we're pretty much going to be working with group, rendering, and customize. Uh, not that uh, the other, uh, we won't be using um, the other icons, we'll just be finding a different way to um, use those. Most of what you can find in the application bar can also be found in various graphical icons in grouped locations. So uh, to be successful, we'll spend more time using the visual uh, graphics as opposed to uh, some of these complicated words. Uh, the other other one that you might use is help. And that, of course, will give you like a library. If you have a particular topic you're looking for, you search that library. It will tell you where you can find that graphic. Okay, so that's going to end uh, this small lesson on the uh, first part of our uh, interface in detail, uh, file management and application bar. And in our next lesson, we're going to break down these various tools uh, in the main toolbar, as well as look at the, uh, the viewports and how to use those.